Hi, I'm Mario and we are gonna watch a documentary about ants. It will be divided into more parts because you can't cover all the information about these amazing tiny insects in just one video. Oh, it should start in any moment. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, ants. Humans have colonized every single continent. They have occupied the whole planet, thinking that they are the kings. But what if I told you that there is an animal which can be found almost anywhere on the planet, outnumbering us by many, many times? These creatures are called ants. Ants can range in sizes from 0.75 mm, as big as a grain of sand, to 5.2 cm. They are pretty small, but their power isn't in their size. It is in their number. There are 7 billion people on this planet. And there are 10 quadrillion of them. This is 10 followed by 15 zeros. For every human there are about 1.5 million ants. The mass of all the ants is equal to the mass of all the humans on Earth. Ants may form 15 to 25 of a terrestrial animal biomass in most ecosystems. They can be found on all the continents instead of Antarctica and some uninhabitable islands. Ants belong to the order Hymenoptera, like bees and wasps. While humans appeared on Earth 200,000 years ago, the first ants evolved from wasp-like ancestors in the Cretaceous period, about 99 million years ago. At that time, dinosaurs like T-Rex were alive. So imagine just how surprised were scientists when in Australia was found an ant from that period, called Notomyrmecia macrops, also known as the dinosaur ant, because for them it was like finding an alive dinosaur. These days there are 12,500 species of ants classified, scientists estimating that there are around 22,000 species in total. An individual can carry leaves 50 times its weight. If a human had this ability, he would be able to lift a car with no effort. But ants' real power can be observed when they work together. Ants form colonies which range in size from a few dozen predatory individuals, which live in small natural cavities, to highly organized colonies that may occupy large territories and consist of millions of individuals. Together ants can hunt larger insects, small reptiles and sometimes even birds. Together they can form rafts and bridges. One ant is small and weak when facing challenges, but working together, in large numbers, they reveal their power. During their trips, humans have accidentally brought with boats different species of ants on other continents. One species, the Argentine ant, can be found on all the continents, forming very big colonies. When a colony meets another one, they don't fight. Instead, they join them, making super colonies. Another species, the yellow crazy ants, has invaded the Christmas island. There are 2000 ants per square meter, and they are eating the native species of crabs, making it go extinct. And last but not least, there are the fire ants, whose stings are very painful, and which have invaded North America. USA used a lot of pesticides trying to kill these species, but all they did was kill the native species of ants, making it easier for fire ants to expand to Mexico, China and Australia. Fighting them takes 6 billion dollars per year. Ants have been around for a very long period of time, invading other continents and outnumbering us. Do you still think that humans are the kings on this planet? And this was just the beginning, if you enjoyed this video give a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss the second part.